Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to the weekly holiday show, Fall Edition 2022. I'm your host, Mr. James, with a spider plant and an acoustic guitar behind me. Still kind of in tune. And this is your weekly holiday show. And here are your selected holidays for the week of October 3rd through October 9th. We start on Mondays, we end on Sundays. Makes sense, right? All right. So first up, Monday, we have Technology Day. Technology everywhere, right? Everything's technology. Whoa, what's that sound all of a sudden? There's some technology talking to me. That was actually an ad on a phone. And can you believe that? A phone next to me is playing ads to advertise something to me without me touching anything. Technology, right? How'd I get this plant to grow so well? Technology. Who made the guitar? Technology. Everything is technology, clothing, technology, anything that gets us from one place to the next and helps us maybe be more efficient, which means we don't have to use as much energy or to solve a problem, technology. So even as simple as a pencil, you can think of as technology. The thing about Monday is to celebrate the fact that we have everything around us that is working and if it's not working, it will be fixed and things will change only to make things better. And you can see this everywhere, most especially in the healthcare industry, which is great. Uh, but this is how we move forward. And this is why it's different now than it was 20, 30, 40, 100 years ago. And we have to keep moving forward, which is great because we're going to move forward to Tuesday, which is Taco Day. Tacos, taco, right? Taco Tuesday. I think that's why it's Taco Day. Yes, I don't know. Someone made up Taco Day. Here's the thing tacos are like a vehicle for good ingredients. So think about that way. If you have all these ingredients together vegetables, some protein source, uh, sauces, and you go, What can I do with this? I need to eat it. Do I just put it over pasta or rice? Yeah, that's an option. Or do you take some sort of wrap, either hard or soft, and put it inside of it and then eat it? And you may call that a taco or a burrito or there's so many different versions of it, right? We know that. Tacos, though, have been around for a long time. Uh, we won't have to go into the history of it, but let's just say it is a Mexican-inspired uh, dish and up here in Maine, in North America, uh, we have different versions of tacos. I've seen tacos with ice cream in it, right? The ice cream taco. I've seen ones that, I've seen people put spaghetti into tacos. And I keep thinking, hmm, maybe that's good. It's a vehicle. It's a vehicle, right? Inside a vehicle, like a car, people can get inside and go someplace. The taco, the taco shell, is a vehicle for putting things inside of it. So make the first peanut butter and jelly taco. Try it out. Make something new. Use a taco as your vehicle for creativity and a snack or lunch. <laughs> so Wednesday is World Teacher's Day. And I have somebody doing science uh, right there. But yeah, science and everything else, right? Math. Learn about technology, art music mm, i kind of know about that a little bit celebrate your teachers and that could be someone you had a teacher a long time ago someone you grew up with someone that right now is giving you great advice and they're teaching you just celebrate teachers because we're all teachers we can all be teachers to help someone else out and some of us take uh, make a career make it our lifestyle of purposefully wanting to always help people out and we're considered teachers. So celebrate teachers, celebrate anyone who helps you out basically on Wednesday. That'd be great. But you know, every other day of the week too. Thursday is noodle day. And actually this Thursday, October 6th is my birthday. <sighs> okay. I don't want to mention that. I'm not so keen on birthdays, but uh, I'm keen on noodles. I love noodles certain noodles i have to have gluten-free noodles but you can find those you can find gluten-free ramen uh i found it online and it's it's great uh you can 
If you like noodles, this is great. You don't have to eat noodles with chopsticks, but I'm just saying it is an easy way to eat noodles. And yeah, and that little container that you get sometimes from restaurants, Chinese restaurants, Thai, they sometimes have a little container that folds up and it's easy just to open up and it's like a little box, get the noodles out of it. Perfect. So we celebrate with some noodles on my birthday. Okay, Friday, it's manufacturing day. Yeah, manufacturing. Once again, kind of like technology, right? Clothing, manufacturing, uh, a tablet, container, phone. Anyone who makes anything is in manufacturing. Basically, when you make more than one thing, actually, it could even just be one thing. It's called manufacturing. You're kind of engineering something, but also you uh, have a process, and you can keep going through that same process to make more of that. This guitar behind me, mass produced, which means there's many, many guitars that look exactly like that. Of course, this guitar behind me is from the 1970s, it's pretty old, but there's still hundreds of those out there somewhere. It was manufactured. Uh, manufacturing can be one person or a thousand people or more. Uh, so we have to celebrate that. We have to celebrate knowing that there are people out there working to make things that make our lives a little bit easier or sound better including Amazon, which a lot of us like. <laughs> so celebrate those people that help me to maintain my lifestyle. Saturday is chess day. Chess is considered one of those games, board games, uh, that really uses your mind when you remember what each of the uh, little characters do, the little pieces do, and thinking ahead so that your opponent, the person you're playing against, uh, won't know what you're going to do next. And that is basically why for many, many years people have played chess. There's many more other games that I think are more challenging. Uh, Go is a game I heard that takes many, many months to play or something, or it, it could take many months. Uh, and it's kind of what chess I think is based off of. And there's other games too that just anything where you're using your memory, you're using strategy, uh, you're being creative, uh, and you also at the same time have to use proper body language because you don't want somebody across from you who you're challenging to know what you're about to do or that you think you're, you've got something, a leg up on them, right? So just celebrate board games in general, but chess, if you play chess, this might be a good time to uh, take it out again and brush up your skills. And of course, the last Last thing this week, Sunday, is Moldy Cheese Day. And I don't really celebrate that because I don't eat cheese. Uh, and moldy cheese, moldy cheese is cheese that has mold growing on it. So it makes it a little bit more tangy. Now, not all molds are good. I guess the brown and the red molds, eh, stay away from those. Black molds, I think, maybe not so good. But the green... The gray molds, maybe some of the dark gray, which is kind of like black molds are good. If you've heard of blue cheese, blue cheese is the cheese that's got mold on it. Uh, brie has some of that on it. Uh, and just cheese that has a tangy taste probably came from mold because cheese is made from enzymes interacting with milk and eating some sugars. And the byproduct they make is cheese. It's fermented. So... Mold is just like the next step because mold grows on things that are sitting out for a long time that basically get old. If you take a piece of fruit and you leave it out long enough, it's going to start shriveling up, losing its water, but also it's going to grow mold on it from mold in the air. And yeah, it does. It, this happens in cheese. And I guess many years ago, someone re recognized that, hey, I can still eat the cheese that has mold on it, and I feel good. It tastes good, too. And so that's why they have categories of moldy cheese that people like, and then moldy cheese that you should definitely throw out and stay away from because it's something that's going to hurt you. So know your molds. I think that's a big thing. But if you like cheeses, I guess the soft cheeses are generally the ones that carry most, the most mold because the hard cheeses, well, they're hard. It's probably hard for mold to get on them or inside. Anyways, thank you for celebrating some holidays this week. 
celebrate everything you want, whenever you want. Honestly, this is just so we understand that someone made up these holidays and they may be worth looking at. So until next time, celebrate something. Thank you.